So hi everyone, I hope that this works out well. My phone's been kind of wonky, so I haven't been able to really do any videos. So I'm hoping that I don't get all this done, and then you have to read my lips, because I don't do... So anyway, we're going to start off by me just giving a little backstory. So I recently turned 40. I know. Look at me. I'm falling apart. Me with my fucking gray hair and shit. So anyway, sorry about my language, but fuck it. So anyway, over here is my 40 thing from my birthday. Here's some vacuums that you've seen before. You know, they're part of my permanent collection. Anyway, during my birthday, I was bestowed a couple of vacuums. Um, there's another one I'm going to do a uh, video on later. Um, but this one I'm going to do tonight because, well, it's just really neat. So, my friend Scott, who is very, who knows a lot of other vacuum collectors, uh, had us down the night before my birthday slash vacuum meet. And, um, he said, honey, I have a surprise for you. And Sue Ann invited us all down to her house. And, you know, I walk up in there and, you know, he's going through pleasantries. And, you know, he's showing everyone the house that hasn't been there. You know, he has a collection also. And as we moved over towards his office on the main floor... I spy with my eye this gorgeous vacuum in the corner and I kind of got a little pittery pattery because I thought oh shit he got that for me and in fact I was kind of like do I take this like do I need to like stay the night and pay and trade like you know God only knows but no he was so sweet I'm kidding I, Scott and I are I love that man to pieces but so anyway He's like, well, sweetheart, there's your birthday gift, and of course I shit my pants. Because, you know, that's the logical thing to do when somebody gives you a new old stock Eureka from the 1970s. So I'm going to start out, now that I've talked for two minutes and 50 seconds about Gibberty Gook, um, we're going to start out with the owner's manual. So, it's Eureka. Owner's Guide, congratulations, you have purchased the very best in vacuum cleaners. Model 4050. And what is that? Is that a wide track Wild Moss Continental Series? Well, it wouldn't be a Continental Series because it doesn't have the Continental Hood, but it's from that series. So, I thumb through this beautiful never touched manual look at that the reek company division of national union electric in bloomington illinois that was when america made good stuff and what's cool about this is that it's in order form so you can order new parts and pieces for your eureka for an example i finally figured out what the call numbers are for the original zipper Bags, part number five there, 13269 3 for models 4050B, which is what I have, and the 4053AT, which I don't. And then there's also another one, of 13269 5 for the model 4060AT. So apparently, there were several different um, models going on at the same time, but look at that. New brush strips, 52264. New brush roll, 25673. Most of these are probably still relevant part numbers. By the way, for anyone who cares, I am looking for a floor and wall brush. Um, cream color would be pleasant. And it's part number 24331, number 10 right there. So anyway, <clears throat> the other neat thing is, is that a while ago, I actually found a... Um, Burgundy, the Brandywine series, uh, wide track 
and I had the tool kit from it. So I brought it down to kind of have with it. And this is the 16 inch accessory kit. See there would be that beautiful floor brush which is missing. I'm sure this is wrong but I don't care about the two wands. The 16 inch wide converter. The dusting tool which looks wrong. The upholstery tool that looks wrong. Basically I need to find some tools for this, but the hose is back there, and then three packs of dust care bags, which back at that time were straight up Eureka. So I'm going to nicely fold this, and then we're going to take a peek at what I saw as he rolled it over to me and said, Happy birthday, Rhoda. <sighs> Sue Ann. So anyway. Now, you have to understand, I like to talk in videos. I like to talk a little bit. I almost cried. In fact, I was a little bit inside. I was very like, oh my god, he just bought me this new old stock vacuum. I'm going to have to pay for it and trade. Not really. No. Um, Scott wouldn't do that. But I was just, you know, just awesome gobsmacked. There's the word. I'm going to use a word that we don't, we should use here, but we don't. I was gobsmacked. I was like, holy crap. This dude bought me a new old stock Eureka, and I know that those weren't, you know, going for free. So I'm going to flip this upside down so we can see the bottom. Uh, so give me a second here. <clears throat> flip it a bunch of my bed. So again, beautiful brocade <clears throat> vinyl bag perfect box top look at that clean as a whistle so <clears throat> that's shiny right there so we got the 4050B 1685743 6.0 amps there's a story about this machine I've talked to a Another friend of mine who is a Rika, a Rika, Rika, I blame you, Tom. There was a Eureka dealer who is a friend of mine, and he told me that when this machine came out, it was brought out in direct competition with Kirby. Eureka wanted a machine that would clean as good as a Kirby and cost less. And they were... Uh, it was developed for specifically for that, to sell to people with large homes with lots of carpet. And during this time, that was definitely the case. Um, and at first, they were uh, built with a 3.5 amp motor, which if anyone knows Eureka, 3.5 amps is cool for a 12 inch wide machine. It's still a little underpowered, let's just be frank but Eureka definitely revved this thing up to be 6 amps because uh, the original machines weren't cleaning as well as they would have liked. Um, so the 4050 was the first from what I've gathered and I have promotional material to back this up. The 4050B was when they kicked in the 6.0 amp motor and uh, there's a couple stickers on here. L2. Um, don't know what that means. If you look through the paint slop, it's 76. Um, there's some other stuff over here, um, but I don't think it pertains. And it looks like this sticker has been replaced, and I think they did. I think it. the machines that they weren't selling because it was still stuck with the 3.5 amp motor... I think they sent them back to Eureka. Uh, they were unboxed, the new motors were put in, and then they reboxed them and sent them back out as the 4050B. Um, I heard that on fairly good, you know, I don't, regardless if it happened, they definitely up upgraded it. So, shiny, perfect. Vibra Groomer 1. 
This is the beater bar brush, by the way, that finally got Eureka to kick Hoover's ass. Once Hoover's beater bar patents went away, and Eureka finally found their their man sack, uh, they got this thing going, and at that point, I don't care, all you Hoover people can go, hey, you're wrong, it's so wrong. This thing outcleaned the, the Hoover. Um, more powerful uh, metal beater bar. By this time, Hoover was even starting to take beater bars off of machines, or close to, but this thing really does beat this knot. I mean, this is what became the Sanitaire series, which is still available. The Wide Track Sanitaire series that's still available. One thing I want to point out is that this is metal. This isn't plastic. This whole bottom here is all cast metal. So this is a heavy, heavy vacuum. <clears throat> so I'm going to undo the latches here, pull open the absolutely clean, no marks, no yucky. Um, I need to get a different belt for them. You can actually see where it's basically sat since the 1970s. Um, wow. And, of course, per usual, um, it's very smooth, very quiet. I think when Eureka popped it up to 6.5 amps, and then the 7 amp machines, that was just a little too much. Especially for this kind of machine. It really bogged them down, made them hard to use, etc. So, I'm going to quickly stop this here, and I'm going to set up for a vacuuming, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now at the 12.05 mark, after you've heard me, we're going to do a quick vacuuming, and then I'm going to show you some product brochures that I have um, for that line. So, we're going to start with the vacuuming. Say hi, Willie Hugh. She's going to bolt as soon as the vacuum comes on, so say hello. And then, come on. Good girl. So we're going to start on low speed um, and just give it a speed this has plenty of power but at this point Eureka was getting ready in 1978 to really roll out their two-speed ESP line um, which was of course available in a wide track and in a uh, standard 12 inch model so here's high speed <laughs> if the price is right. No, that's a joke. This is not available for sale. So I'm going to stop this again. And when I bring this back up, I'm going to show you some factory literature. Uh, the factory literature was actually for the 4050. And I also have another brochure that um, has the introduction of the actual model, the beginning of the wide track series. So hold on, be right back. So again, um, now that we're back with part three, 
Um, I do have a dealer brochure or a dealer broadside, I should call. Uh, they were very proud of this machine. Um, you know, they said that the ride track was 30% larger than most vacuum cleaners. Um, and uh, if you notice here, the ESP stuff had not come out yet. Because on the back here, you'll notice the motor says right here, vertical 3.5 amp upper and lower bearings permanently lubricated. So again, they changed it very quickly because the dealers were coming back and saying, listen, this thing doesn't have enough power to get out of its own way. And if we want it to compete with the Kirby, you gotta up it. But so anyway, this is the back of it. Um, lots of information there. Pretty much the 4050B was just that. It was the same machine with a more powerful motor and the change in stickers. Now Eureka put out dealer or company literature every year. Uh, this is a very rare book. Uh, this came from the collection of Norm Brown. He was so nice to bestow them upon me knowing that I was a Eureka nut job. So at 1638 I'm going to show you this because I don't believe that this has really been seen before. <clears throat> so this is the Eureka book. I'm going to try and get it where it doesn't glare. That might not work. So anyway. Uh, first in American 12 ways. There's the uh, it talks about their profitability uh, their flow charts and so forth. How vacuum cleaners against major appliances were a better deal, although at that time any vacuum dealer usually carried major appliances. Well, a lot of them did, not all of them. And vacuum cleaners outsell all these appliances. Some early Eureka period. I think that was the very first Eureka right there. I could be wrong. And then they had their junior. <clears throat> which was very common. This, I think, would have been a Model 9 or something like that, but there it is, the first appearance in the catalog for this year, which was printed in the USA, form number 1976-77. As old as me. So anyway, we're just going to thumb through this. Uh, there it is again, along with the root beer, and this is a very common machine, I have that too. Uh, the brandy wine canister. Eureka's growth over the last several years, etc., etc. There's the uh, box top cord away, which is right there. And then the beautiful brandy wine canister, which I no longer have. And then there it is, our latest innovation, the exclusive wide track. So they went through this whole deal explaining out their new model. Now, calm your tits, people, because this is a big one. This is their entire lineup for 1976 in color. Their brooms, straight suction, the power teams, and notice they had a crap load of power teams. 1406, 1416, 1440, all the way up to the 4050. The root beer colored models, which I believe were specials. And then of course the um, Continental Series in moss green, including the 2385, which I just showed you. And of course it goes through to talk about other things too. Uh, how you can pick up promotional material. And then they have this. And then they're talking about how this is going to be the chance to be the first to sell the new Eureka Wide Track. So this was the beginning of the Wide Track series. This was um, 
a big deal for Eureka and 40 years later it's a very big deal for me so one last look at the beautiful Eureka new out-of-box wide track and my tools thanks for watching everyone